All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? <clears throat> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready! <sighs> Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer too. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. We lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. 
Going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh uh. You don't know Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are, he'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Okay. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. to a girl earlier. No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't say I can't. What'd you say to me? What's all the rubbish out there? Uh, I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl. What she... Well... She's great at handling the books. Cloud, I really don't think that'll help. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid. But it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. <sighs> and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Not so fast, buddy. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart. Yeah? So people can't just walk through the Dong's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute. It's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself in? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud? Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tape. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the Masada. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodin. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. 
and you should... Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the back. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right, and I'll grant you your wish. Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am heads! Huh? Hmm? Hmm. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. <laughs> but if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Step right up, step right up! It's the fully automated. I guess they're closed right now? I feel rejuvenated. There's something downright wrong with this place. Hmm. Oh, this place is full of too. Yeah, and we're next. I'm there for some good old scary time. Yeah, man. I'm it so wasn't excited. supposed to go place. down like this. Think so. Uh, I just wanted to Let see me handle Andrea. this. You wait out here. And why would I do I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't...
Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that... I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Oh my god! Come on, old man. Time to go. Oh. Like a piping hot bun. Pretty rowdy place. Mm. God sake. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then. What manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud, let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. 
<laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next edition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? But... You cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate for in such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? No matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So... What should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gil, so long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Into. Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? Hey, I'm talking to you. I still can afford The doors are now open for tonight's Corneo Cup. Please hold on in an orderly fashion. <laughs> What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. Hey! 
Lovebirds, over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery is in the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. Who all must be with Dean Connoisseurs of Chaos and Bloodshed? We bid you the warmest of welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most crucial spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gold, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, utterly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit blind. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the kill and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the blood star beast will battle for your amusement and the product! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight's Corneo Time! Wow, this place is really something. You two, wait here until it's time. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminary. I hope you guys real. I don't want to scare you. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talking about a bad day? This is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Three of them, one of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challenges? The power of their eyes! They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The penguin stalker! You brought animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blame me. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Going in. Yes. 
Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming! What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eren! Well, that's one win. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Well, that was some bullshit. That's what they call- Ready to rock? You gonna take all day? Please make your way Ready to, to the rock? Gate. Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spe- did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might- But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle- Does this mean I don't gossip like dead? Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please Man, it's the final- I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and
Whatever. I can't believe it! And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Clown and Aaron! My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tief? So we'll head back to Madame M's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But... You still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets. Much heftier. Corneo's going to milk this for- Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then we- Hey, that wasn't- Don't you think I know that? You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit festering! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, and the crowd will make- So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight, ready to kick it. It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's tournament.
in some way. What will you do? <laughs> there you are. So Matt and I was also big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earn. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. <laughs> you look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer, and which is to say, why don't you putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here? Then I have a few little requests that you might be able to. <laughs> I gave that hand. 
extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can and do. And that's enough of that. <laughs> oh boy, I can't... The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some... Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Angel of the slum strike. Madam M told me about them. Maybe you can help us sort this. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the slum. People worship her as some kind of folk here. But there's no denying she's the one that done it. I mean, look at this, the Garden Angle. Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring a proof to me this wasn't the work of your beloved guardian. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. Angel strikes again, suckers! <laughs> and all it took was one fake car. Too easy. Hey, it's you! The hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! Wait, Dad! Wait, Dad! Shut up! It's too late for that! <laughs> Bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Shit house. We picked him up, but the call is gonna pay you back double. What's a drupal? Eh? Shut up! Two 
that. Coming with me. These are the angels of the. Oh man, you're real stupid! We're the garden angels! Shut your trap, Moral! Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be. Nah, I recognize the masks. These guys are just small time crooks who've been pestering folks. Should have listened to you earlier. Well, you should be. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys. Indeed. All right, get a hey, watch it. Yeah, you lummox, you. Lum so what about the donations? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like. It's the angel of the slums. She took the ton stuff. Well, I'll be safe. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can put. The guardian angel of the slums, Brady. Huh. I wonder if I'm an accomplice. <laughs> <laughs>